I mean, we're going to go from some pretty reasonable temperatures today to some just yeah. absolute you Crash. described it as Crazy. a stalling plane, which, like, well, I can't think that's ever a good thing. You can, you can recover from the stall. <laughs> okay. Um, but, uh, and we will recover from the cold later this week. Does that make you feel better about it? Does. it? Not entirely, it but thanks. It makes me feel better. Well, good. Chris right. is fine. Okay, that's good. As long as Chris feels good about that's it. That's right. Uh, we've got what is likely going to be the coldest air of the season on the way for later this week. And uh, that's a look downtown, Victorian Square. Uh, here in Lexington, as we get a look at the uh, temperature, uh, you'll be able to see. Let's go ahead and pop over to that. Uh, we've got 30 degrees for the current temperature and a 20 degree wind chill right now. So, yeah, it's cold out there. And we've also got a dew point in the mid 20s, so it's dry. It's cold and it's dry. The wind's out of the southeast, but look at that. Sustained at 13 miles per hour. Temperature wise, we're doing okay. I mean, compared to where we're going, this could be, you know, fairly mild for you. Just Remember that later this week. It's 20 right now for the wind chill, but it's 14 in Monticello. So what's going on? We've got another Arctic blast coming our way. We've had a couple of them already this season, but this will be the most significant one. And we're getting into the potential for frostbite and burst pipes because daytime highs are going to be in the teens for a couple of days in a row. Lows, single digits to even sub-zero. So we never have a chance to warm up much. If you have pipes that run exterior walls of your house that are susceptible to this, and my house is one of them, that happened to me a few years ago, I'll look out and take necessary precautions. Uh, because highs, I mean, just the highs tell you something's up. We're going to sustain a 40 degree or more temperature crash over the next 48 hours from highs in the 50s today to maybe only in the low teens by Wednesday. Now, that's just the high. Overnight lows get even worse. We've been in the single digits. We, our lowest low is actually three in Lexington. Uh, this uh, season. Last time we went sub zero, though, was last January, and we've got a good chance to do that going into early Thursday morning. The record low Thursday morning is 10 below, and we're looking for maybe three below, so we'll be close. Uh, but then temperatures will rebound. So, you know, a couple of days of that, and then we're back out of it. Uh, there is snow on the move. We also have to deal with that, but initially, first off, it's going to be rain. You can see it creeping in out towards Paducah. Heaviest snow is off to the northwest with rain across much of Missouri. And you've got these successive waves of low pressure diving south, tracking into the Great Lakes, and these successive rounds of colder air coming in with them. So you're going to get impacted by that the next couple of days. Winter storm warning out for the Great Lakes as we head south. Notice Fayette County is not in on the winter weather advisory. Casey County is up towards Flemingsburg as you run east towards Moorhead. All of our southeastern counties are in on it because that's going to see, be where we see our better chance for higher numbers as far as snow accumulation goes. Initially, it's rain tonight. Then as that colder air kicks in, we'll see the transition late this evening into early tomorrow morning over to a light shot of snow. Best chance to see that accumulation, the higher numbers. Again, eastern counties are going to be colder longer and the moisture will linger. And then we've got an Arctic front diving in. Some snow showers with that going into early, uh, going into Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, the core of that cold sets in. But as far as snowfall totals go, lowest back toward the Ohio River, probably less than an inch, a few tenths of an inch, upwards of an inch or two just to the east of Lexington, and then likely a two to four inch band. The heaviest amounts, the highest amounts here are going to be higher elevations of our eastern mountain counties. So enjoy the 50s while you can. We'll go from the 50s today to some late day showers down to the teens tonight with that rain to snow. And the eight day forecast shows this the cratering hole right in the middle of the eight day as far as temperatures go. We get cold and it's down there for a couple of days. Frigid stuff. 30s this weekend, hopefully 40s as well. So we will rebound.